Hi everyone, it is Miss Kathy. Today, my how-to is about using iReady. This is an assessment program that Functional Skills is using this year. And this is going to help us find out where our students are at with their language arts and their math. So, how to get this going is first, your user ID and password is something that your primary teacher has. If you have not worked with iReady before, make sure that you get your user ID and password from your teacher. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to use the program. So let's get started. The website you're going to be going to is i-ready.com. So again, that is i-ready.com. And yes, you do need the hyphen in there. If you don't have it in there, it will send you somewhere completely different. So remember what I said, the user ID and password you will get from your teacher. Once you enter that here, make sure you select the state of Utah. And then you will click go. So in this case, I'm going to use a student login. And so once you log into the screen, you will have the option of clicking on reading or math. So in this case, we're going to click on reading and it will show you what your next lesson is going to be. And we'll also tell you if it's in progress or ready to start. And if you're ever confused, there is this awesome video that shows you even more how to do things. So if you're ever wondering on what you need to do, oops, it will actually just show you for your pathway and then your progress is how much, how much time you have spent on the program, how often you've passed or how many lessons you've passed, I see your rate, and then this is how many you have passed in a row. So it's not that it's necessarily needed information, but it's stuff that helps. And then we also have math, same as the reading. So we're going to click on the to do, and here's how it's going to do. So if your teacher assigns you any lessons, it's going to be on this side. And that is all you do with iReady. Once you complete it, it submits it and you start the next lesson. And your teacher does have access to go in to see how often and how many assignments you have submitted, or excuse me, completed. So make sure if you have any questions, you please ask us and let us know. Otherwise, We'll see you next time. Bye.